What just happened isn't a typical product reveal. It's not marketing. It's a shift in the underlying architecture of the digital world. Huawei has done something that pushes us into a new epoch of technology. For decades, people have speculated about a kind of technological singularity when systems become so advanced, so self-directed, that progress takes off exponentially and leaves linear evolution behind. We're now brushing against that threshold. This isn't the future arriving someday. It's here. It's operational. And it's going to reshape everything. What Huawei has delivered is not a collection of advanced features or a faster chip. It's a complete integration, a convergence of artificial intelligence, photonic computing, 6G networks, and quantum resilient cryptography. This isn't sci fi anymore. It's real world infrastructure being built out right now. They've created a neural architecture that doesn't just use AI, it is AI, a system that evolves, adapts, and improves itself. Think about that. It's a machine that rewrites its own logic. It doesn't need patches or updates. It learns, adapts, and gets better over time without external input. That alone is game-changing. But Huawei didn't stop there. They've linked this AI core with a photonic processor computing with light, not electrons. The limits of silicon, Moore's law, and thermal throttling? Gone. Light speed operations. To rabbit level throughput. Latency in microseconds. That's the sort of speed where digital actions become indistinguishable from physical ones. The boundaries blur. What happens in software begins to feel like it's happening in real life. When this kind of infrastructure powers a network, everything changes. This is not a 5G upgrade. This is a new paradigm entirely. The 6G network built on this system isn't just fast, it's intelligent. It's immersive. It adapts to conditions in real time. It can deliver holographic communication that feels like actual presence, not just video. It supports extended reality experiences that don't feel digital, they feel physical. The network manages itself. It heals. It reallocates bandwidth dynamically before disruptions occur. We're talking about a system that thinks ahead of the user. A true, anticipatory infrastructure. And it's not just about performance. Security matters more than ever in a world headed for quantum computing. As quantum processors become capable of breaking today's encryption, most of our current cybersecurity protocols are basically obsolete. Huawei didn't wait for that disaster to happen. They built post-quantum cryptographic protection directly into the core of this new system. That means everything moving through this network financial transactions, personal data, government communication is already shielded against future quantum threats. When you step back and look at it, this entire infrastructure is more than just tech. It's a living digital organism, an intelligent backbone that not only serves, but thinks, anticipates, evolves. It's scalable. It's resilient. And it changes the way we build, deploy, and even think. But the most powerful part of this isn't what it does in theory, it's what it enables in practice. This opens the door for truly intelligent cities. Imagine urban environments that adapt in real time to population movement, energy usage, traffic flow, transportation that reroutes before congestion starts. Power grids that auto-optimize for efficiency and sustainability. Emergency services that respond proactively. We're talking about infrastructure that actually learns how to serve people better every day. In healthcare, the transformation is just as significant. Diagnostics powered by AI that operates at the speed of light can process complex data sets and identify conditions with unmatched accuracy. We're entering an age of hyper-personalized medicine. Remote surgeries become not just possible, but commonplace with zero perceptible latency. Life-saving procedures can reach underserved populations anywhere in the world. Drug development accelerates as molecular simulations powered by this computing model drastically cut down R&D time. For autonomous transport, this is the missing link. Vehicles can interact with each other, the road, and the network in real time. Decisions get made in milliseconds. Accidents don't just get reduced, they become outliers. This enables true fleets of autonomous vehicles not as experimental one-offs, but as core infrastructure for clean, efficient, AI-managed mobility systems. That's the backbone of smart transportation and a radically reduced carbon footprint. Even global logistics gets redefined. 
Picture a planet-wide nervous system that tracks and optimizes every moving part, every vehicle, every package, every route. Predictive systems reroute shipments before delays occur. Supply chains that self-heal in the face of disruption. Warehouses run by intelligent systems. Drones become a natural part of last-mile delivery. The result? Massive increases in efficiency, reductions in waste, and supply chains that are both smarter and more resilient. All of this AI, light-speed computing, secure networking, environmental adaptations, it's not just a list of innovations, it's a new class of civilization technology. The kind that reshapes societies, economies, and everyday life. It's not about faster data, it's about new capabilities that weren't possible before. Entirely new industries are going to be born on the back of this. Problems we've struggled with for decades suddenly become solvable. Quality of life goes up. That's the real goal, to elevate humanity through engineering. But here's what really sets this apart. Huawei has hard-coded sustainability and responsibility into the system. Photonic computing isn't just fast, it's far more energy efficient than electronic computing. Light doesn't heat up the way electrons do. That means less power draw, less cooling, and a more sustainable infrastructure. They're also using AI to actively optimize energy usage across the network from the data centers to the base stations. And that's not theoretical. It's already reducing power consumption at scale. It's not greenwashing. It's real environmental stewardship, engineered into the security is equally foundational. With post-quantum encryption baked in, this system doesn't just protect today's data, it protects your future. Every piece of it is encrypted end-to-end, -end, designed for privacy by default. This isn't about compliance, it's about trust. About building infrastructure we can rely on, even decades into a post-quantum world. That's the level of foresight required to build responsibly today. This isn't just a system you install and forget. It's a living platform, a self-evolving network that becomes smarter over time. It updates itself. It improves itself. It doesn't rely on humans to push progress, it pushes itself forward. That unlocks innovation on a scale that's hard to quantify. Developers, researchers, and creators around the world will build on this. They'll create the next generation of intelligent apps, city-scale simulations, brain-computer interfaces, things we haven't even imagined yet. The takeaway here is simple. This isn't just about communications. It's about a new interface between humans and machines. It's about turning the entire planet into a responsive, intelligent system. And most importantly, it's just the beginning. This platform is built for collaboration, for open innovation, for scaling across industries, borders, and disciplines. That's how we bring these benefits to every Onino, just a few players. This moment isn't just a tech launch, it's a tectonic shift. We've seen the convergence of AI, photonics, 6G, and post-quantum security. And from that convergence comes a system that changes how we live, work, connect, and evolve. It's going to redefine healthcare, transportation, urban development, cybersecurity, supply chains. It's going to give us tools to solve challenges we've been stuck on for generations. And it does all this while respecting the environment and protecting our digital future. If you've been waiting for a sign that we've crossed into a new era, this is it. We've just stepped into a future that, until now, was only imagined. And from here, the possibilities multiply. Fast.